There is new hope tonight for a family waiting on answers nearly 20 years after the disappearance of a college student from Massachusetts. In 2004, 21-year-old Maura Murray's car was found crashed along a rural road in New Hampshire. But when first responders arrived to the scene, she was nowhere to be found. Well, last week, nearly two decades later, investigators returned to that last spot that Maura was seen hoping to find some new clues and evidence that they may have missed or overlooked. Correspondent Kelly Beeson is joining us tonight with more on this renewed search for evidence and the answers Maura's family, Kelly, is determined all these years later to get. And her family, Marnie, has worked throughout this time to keep this case in the national spotlight. Murray was a star cross-country runner in high school, one of the top two-mile runners in the state of Massachusetts, before mysteriously vanishing nearly two decades ago. Out of the blue, New Hampshire conducted a massive search for my sister Mara, not far from where she disappeared in 2004. Dozens of police cars and a mobile command unit parked alongside New Hampshire's Route 112 as officers searched near the place where 21-year-old Mora Murray was last seen in 2004. My family's encouraged. I'm in constant communication with law enforcement, and I will update here when I can but this is big. Mora was a nursing student at UMass Amherst when she disappeared minutes after crashing her car on that rural road. Coming just days after the launch of Facebook, the case has been labeled the first crime mystery of the social media age. It's sort of two mysteries. It's, it's why was she going to New Hampshire and what happened to her combined with the fact that there's really not a lot of clues. Erin Larkin hosts a podcast about the case. She and Mora were on the UMass track team when Mora suddenly left campus. She told her professors that there was a family emergency or death in the family and she was going to be away for a few days. And then she got in her car and drove to an ATM off campus and withdrew $280 and then stopped at a liquor store and bought about $40 worth of alcohol. But there was no death in the family, her parents not knowing anything about her plans. As she headed north on a country road around 7.30 on a Monday night, she lost control on a sharp turn, the car going off the road into a tree. 911 transcripts show a call from a man driving by minutes later. He said she was shaken up and the airbags had deployed with heavy damage, but Mora refused help. By the time an officer arrived, the car was locked and there was no sign of Mora. I think the most likely thing is that she was picked up by a local who offered her help, perhaps at first, but then something, something bad happened and that person is most likely responsible for her disappearance. After 18 years of searches and candlelight vigils, still no solid leads or answers. Bones discovered last summer turned out not to be Mora's. Now with her profile finally entered into the FBI database, hope that somewhere something will turn up. My hope is that there's a hit somewhere in, in the country. Um, some unidentified person, you know, they, they put in the DNA and they can make make that connection that would be the best case scenario and the hope tonight is that this renewed search effort will help bridge some of the gaps in this case Marnie. kelly do we know anything more about the timing of this recent search i mean 18 years later all this time has passed why now well, Larkin had said this may be because of a tip the family received years ago, saying that Mora was seen in that area, that she was in the back seat of a car with several men in that same area that police are searching right now. However, police have not released any information or a motivation, Marnie, for this renewed search effort. I know the family is real glad to see uh, extra attention paid to it at this point. Kelly, thank you. And if you have any information in the disappearance of Maura Murray, you can contact the New Hampshire State Police or the FBI, details for both, on your screen. And be sure to join us on Facebook or YouTube right after the show. Maura's sister, Julie, will be joining us live to talk about 
her sister, and where this case stands after so many years. You can search News Nation and look for the live stream. You can also submit questions that you might have about the case. I'll be asking some of your questions as I talk to Julie about Mora's disappearance. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.